Hey guys, Nylon here, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft PvP series. As you guys can probably tell right now, we are in the shop. I've actually just got some sugarcane that I found in my base, and I'm going to go ahead and sell it to the shop. Uh, but what I have on me is some raiding materials that we're going to be using to raid a base today that I found uh, earlier on today. But first, let's sell the sugarcane to the shop here. 16 sells for $9, and I think I got this from the raid or something. I don't know, I just had it randomly in my chest, so we'll go ahead and use that. And uh, we do need to buy some TNT from the shop, so let's come over here and buy a couple pieces of TNT. We'll probably need... I'm going to buy 32 just to be sure that we'll have enough. And let's do slash home vault here. Uh, as you guys remember last episode when we raided that other base, uh, we did get a zombie spawner. So I went ahead and I put the zombie spawner in this spawner right here. And I'll show you guys that real quick. Let's pillar up here. Get up here. As you can see, I put the last zombie spawner right over there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So now we've got a total of three. And let's get out of here before the zombies start, start spawning. And put this stone brick back. Here we go, perfect. Zombies are just starting to fall. Uh, but I have a feeling it's going to be a lot more efficient now that we have three spawners. Uh, I eventually want to get four. I think I said that a couple episodes ago. Uh, but once we get four, this spawner will be able to be fully active. Uh, and we'll have a lot of zombies coming through this. Let's throw that back up there because I don't really want that stuff. Uh, but for now, I think our inventory is pretty set up. Let's see if we have any more wood, though. Uh, we got two pieces right here, so we'll turn those into wooden planks. And I'll show you guys the raid we have planned for this episode. It's actually a pretty cool base. And uh, it's actually on an island. I have a home set there. And should we bring a strength too? I think we should bring one just in case uh, the guy decides to come after us. Because uh, the last time I was there, there was a couple people in the base. So let's kill off these zombies first. Kill some of these guys. And as you can see, this zombie spawner is actually really efficient now. We've got a couple zombies in there. And we're going to go ahead and take these guys out. We're already at level 8 now. All these guys are dropping potatoes and carrots. And let me just throw the zombie flesh back in there. But we're going to do slash home raid and i've actually built a little bit of a platform there already uh so we can start building the cannon as soon as we get there so we are here now and there seems to be a guy there that that is not good that is that is kind of not good there is a guy here and that is not good at all i'm thinking that what we might be able to do is make that jump oh there's two guys i was hoping that they wouldn't be left or there right now, but it looks like we're gonna have to sub the TNT cannon quickly. Uh, one guy's name is Rid Riddler Ritter. Uh, so let's do slash F map, and that is a faction called the Kill. Let's do slash F who the Kill. Oh, we we can take these guys. This is why I brought a bow. Oh, we can shoot these guys. Oh, we can't slash F enemy the Kill. Oh, we enemy them. We enemy them. We can shoot this guy. Oh, he's done. He's, he's he's gone. He's gone. Oh, we can get his bow. Good, good, good. Shoot this guy. I don't think they have bows on them right now, so this could be good. Oh, that guy's going to get that other guy's bow, though. Oh, we need ender pearls. Slash warp shot. We're going to get ender pearls. Quick, quick, quick. Slash F who the kill. They have 26 land and negative. They have negative 7 power. We can just go over claim them right now. What the heck are we thinking? What the heck are we thinking? I'm going to buy ender pearls anyway just because we need to get over there to claim the right spot. But seriously, I didn't even need to build that platform. Platform. It seems like everybody on the server really has negative power. I have added a few extra people to my faction uh, just so I don't go negative power. But we're going to ender pearl over there and take this guy out. Oh, dang. He's going. He's going. Oh, crap. That was a fire sword. Fire aspect too. That hurt. That hurt. Yep. Yep. Oh, we're probably going to die. Oh, he's done, he's done. Get this guy too. Oh, God, 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 God. We're at half a heart. We need to get out of here. We gotta get out of here, guys. This is this is intense. I only have iron armor on. And oh, God. We're running on the walls right now. We're running on the walls. We need to do slash home vault. We have TNT on us. I probably should have claimed right there. Oh, we just got a silk touch pick. And a power one bow. I should have popped the strength potion. That probably would have been smart. Uh, we did get a... Oh, it's disabled in enemy territory. We gotta go to spawn first. Quickly. Alright. Damn. Oh, this is getting intense right here. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Slash spawn. Oh, we can't do it in enemy territory. Let's get out of here. We gotta get out of here quick. We have gotta get out of here quick. And if you guys can hear that, that's my phone ringing. But this is just way too intense to stop right now. It's just way too intense. Oh, we could probably get back in there and kill that guy. I'm gonna drink his strength. I'm drinking his strength. And sorry about the phone ringing, guys. I, 
I wish I could stop it, but I can't. I just can't. Oh, no. No, no, no. Slash F claim. Oh, yo, you're not going to be able to build here anymore, sir. That was probably not a smart idea on your part. He's done in two hits. Get him down. So let's do slash F on claim now. So now they don't have this land claim anymore, so no one really has it claimed. So we can both build here. But let's get back up here. We got a strength potion on still. And we got to get our good bow out here. Oh, there's tons of stuff here. There's just tons of loot all over the ground. And I'm about to raid the sugarcane farm uh, when, we, when we're able to claim again. Let's claim in here first. Oh, they have a pig spawner. Slash F claim. We're going to be mining that later. Oh, can't claim at the border. Oh, he's hitting me. Yo, sir, you're not going to be able to do that. Oh, we can just keep killing them in here. Do they have anything in this chest? Oh, they've got tons of music discs. Slash F claim. You, you must start claiming at the border of the territory. Oh, so we can't start claiming in the middle. We're going to have to start claiming from the outside first. Uh, first things first, I kind of want to just give this guy slash F who, slash F who the kill. So we need to find out how we're going to be claiming all the way over here, slash F map. Let's do that again over here. And can we claim this? All right, so we claim this, slash F map. Can we claim over here now? We can claim that. Faction already owns this land. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing work. Now we're claiming this base. Now we're doing work. Let's get this guy out of here. Let's go over here. We want this pig spawner because these actually sell for a lot on the server. Uh, so now we can mine that with a silk touch. I'm not going to do that yet. Not not yet. Uh, but I think they have something down here. Let's check what's down here. Oh, they've actually got a grinder down here. Holy crap, guys. We are. Those are two spawners in there. They have two spawners. Let's claim this right here. F claim, we claim more uh, land from the kill. Now let's go back over here and see what's in these chests here because I think we can break the locks on top now. Oh god, they've got, they don't, <laughs> they really don't have a lot of stuff, but we can probably sell some of these bones to the shop. Um, they've also got ender chests, they've got this here. Let's see, stuff in here. And I kind of want to put the blocks back over the chest. Uh, just so they can't open it anymore and take out any of the good stuff. But I'm going to go back to the vault here real quickly because I need to chest some of this stuff. Uh, we're going to be raiding this nether wart farm, the sugarcane farm. Definitely going to be getting the spawners. That is another couple of spawners we're going to be able to add to the base. Uh, so let's do slash home vault here. And that was a really intense fight. I'm not going to lie. If I went in here with full diamond, it would have been really easy. But I'm kind of glad I went with iron just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, because they had iron armor on too. Uh, so that was really fun. We're going to go ahead and chest some of this in here. And we actually didn't even need any of the raiding materials. I seem to do that a lot lately. That I'll go find a raid and then I'll realize that <laughs> I can actually overclaim them. Because uh, those guys' power were so... It was it was really low. Their power was really, really low. And, oh, we're suffocating. We are definitely suffocating. Yep. And I don't think anyone's found this base yet. Because I had, haven't seen any claims around the base. Uh, so I'm guessing no one's tried to cannon it yet. So I guess I made it in a fairly good spot. Seeing as no one's come around to cannon it yet but let's put the block back over here and we're gonna do slash back get back over to that base and uh, mine some of those spawners because I think we can mine quite a few of those and uh, let's see here we've got the pig one right here so we'll definitely be getting that one and then this guy's in here what is he doing what are you doing he just keeps swanning back here that's for sure nothing in here I really want I mean I'll take the iron armor and we've also got some arrows I'll take the gold I'll definitely take. They've got iron armor, which I really don't want. Let's see what's in here. We've got some cobblestone, some bones that I'll sell to the shop. Some more arrows. And that's pretty much it. We'll take the sugar cane too. Let's see what, what's in here. Sugar cane, potatoes, arrows. We'll take those like usual. More iron armor. They've got iron. And this is actually turning out to be a fairly good raid, seeing as we're going to be able to sell tons of this to the shop. Let's take all these nether warts here. And we haven't even checked up what's upstairs yet. I didn't know they had an upstairs, but yeah, nothing really here. So we're not going to be getting too much from the upstairs. And they've got an ender chest here. Uh, I've actually disabled the placing of ender chest because some guy decided to crash the server somehow by doing some weird thing with an ender chest. So you can still open them at spawn. Uh, but basically, if you haven't placed one at your base yet, you're not going to be able to. And you're also not able to remove one. So if I try to remove it right now, it won't let me. 
uh, just, that, just just because the server has been crashing a lot lately uh, because of some sort of ender chest glitch but we're gonna go in here and we're gonna find those spawners that we saw before we're gonna try to get up here oh there's skeletons in here oh this is a pretty efficient spawner I'm not gonna lie they've got tons of people coming down here damn that is that is a ton of mobs coming down here we might, might have to make uh, something along the lines of this type of spawner uh, but let's try to get up here and not die in the process so we've got six stone now we're gonna have to mine a couple more of this oh, are they coming they better not be coming here i'm gonna block this off just in case they are oh there's zombies coming in here that's for sure because i don't want to lose any of this stuff yeah we don't want you coming in here i'm sorry sir we're just gonna have to block that off yeah we, we really don't want you in here i kind of want these spawners Oh, there are just baby zombies and everything coming in here. Let's try to mine this out. Are there... How many people are up there now? There's just two. Uh, but I hope that we have claimed... I think we claimed the sugarcane farm, so they're not going to be able to take it. Because uh, I kind of want to get that sugarcane, because there was a ton of sugarcane there before. And these guys... These guys in here... We're going to have to mine these spawners quickly. Let's get up right here. Get up this way. Once we get up here, we'll be fine. Oh, they've just got tons of spawners in here. This has turned out to be a hell of a good raid here, guys. Oh, God. I can see these guys coming. So we've got three spawners slash up claim. All right, we already own this land. I'm just going to make sure that they can't come in here because I don't want to lose these spawners right now. Let's try to get back down here. Kill these guys. Oh, this is going to be tough. Hopefully the zombie doesn't set me on fire. That could be bad. Let's kill these guys off. Get back down here. And we've got tons of spawners in inventory right now. So we need to... We need a knot. How are these guys still spawning? There's like four skeletons coming down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get these guys out. All right. So we've got that skeletons down. And let's do slash home vault here. Because we really need to chest these spawners. We've got a total of like... Oh, did I actually not pick up the last one? I might, might not have. Anyways, we're going back because I don't want that guy to come in. I really don't. There's more skeletons coming. Yeah, let's kill these guys off. Slash spawn. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here quickly. Throw some of this stuff out. And we're back at spawn now, so let's do slash home vault here. And chest some of this stuff. And this actually turned out to be a really, really good raid. Like, this is probably one of the best considering... Uh, how many spawners probably aside from the one that we got the enderman spawner this has been one of the best raids of the series just because we've got so many spawners here we're gonna go ahead and put those spawners in this chest over here open that up and put the spawners right in there we've got a pig spawner we've got zombie spawners and i've also got a suggestion uh, in the last video uh, they were saying that i really should use the space under the spawner and that is that is a really good idea that he said to put the cow spawner in here and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, so we're going to head back to the base first but towards the end of the episode we're going to come back in here. We're going to replace all this stuff with grass and I think we're going to put a cow and pig spawner under here. So to wh whoever suggested that I think it was a few people um, but whoever suggested it first a big shout out to them because uh, that is actually a really good idea. We have tons of open space under here that I forgot about and that will really help out in the series. So yeah a big, again a big shout out to whoever uh, mention that in the comments and we're gonna go ahead and do slash home raid I guess how to get back over there do we need ender pearls I'm pretty sure we do if we're gonna do that let's see here did that just turn into a stone I just broke that with silk touch and it turned into stone what is this that is really weird pretty sure we have more yeah we have more redstone lamps over there so that doesn't really matter too much but that was really weird I was uh, it's one of the weirdest things I've seen just turning into uh, turning into stone let's see here what was I even coming in here for I know I was here for something we need to chest some of this stuff first we need to get some ender pearls too I think that's what I said we needed so let's chest all of this and put that in there and the thing that we came back for was ender pearls so that's exactly what we're gonna be getting let's put that on here the ender pearls. Yep, we've got two in here, so let's put this back and it's on here. Now we're gonna do slash home raid once again to go back to that raid base, and we're gonna take all of the sugar cane, and then once we do that, we're gonna come back here, sell it to the shop, and then we're gonna finally 
uh, put the pig and cow spawner under the zombie spawner. And let's see, can we take all the sugarcane? Yes, we can. So let's take all of this. Uh, we're going to have a ton of sugarcane to sell to the shop after harvesting this farm because we've already got a stack down. I think there's uh, I think there's melons above us and also potatoes that I saw. Uh, so we'll definitely be getting on that. Let's take all of this. Go back up here. Yeah, we've got a ton of potatoes. You can't actually sell potatoes or carrots to the farm, so I'm not going to collect those. Uh, but I will go ahead and collect some of these melons because I know you can uh, sell them in melon box. And can we mine these? No, we can't. I was wondering how we we're going to be able to mine these faster. Oh, though we can do silk touch on these and get the entire melon block back, uh, which probably would would be better. And I saw the guys back in the base, but I'm not too sure. Oh, oh, they just they just TNT'd over there. I want to. I kind of want to go and see what happened. Let's get the rest of these melon blocks first, though. Uh, oh, they're already growing back too. Uh, the last thing that we got to do before we leave this base, I do it to every base, and I think I say it after every base we, we raid, we got to TNT it. Like, you can't not TNT the base. Oh, this guy's getting, he's getting strength up. I'm out. I'm out. We don't have potions, and we've got iron armor. I am out of here. We're going to try to bow this guy down. Yeah, because he's got his strength. Oh, yeah, we've got him. We've got him. Oh, he doesn't have a bow. He came unprepared. We just took him out with that power four punch one bow. Hell yeah. Let's get this armor here. Some more free protection one armor. And we're going to do slash home vault to chest some of this sugar cane and also the melon. And I think we're going to come back here one more time with some TNT and a flint and steel to light that place up. Uh, let's see here. Can we put stuff? Yep, so we can put stuff in this chest and keep the bow here. Keep the ender pearl. We'll take that out again. And what else do we need? Do we need anything else? I'm not too sure. What did I come here? Oh yeah, I came here for TNT. We definitely do need some TNT. I think it's in this chest way over here. No, that's where the spawners are. Where's the TNT? Where is it? This chest? Nope. This chest. Yes, it is. Alright, so we'll take it from here. I know I had a flint and steel from a previous episode. Where is it? Where is that flint steel? We'll take this. And all I need is a piece of flint now. There we go. We've got a piece of flint and we should be good to go. So let's put the redstone blocks on top of here. And I think I'm going to be back in a second because there's actually some noise outside my house. And uh, we'll be back to TNT the base. So we are back at the raid here and I am ready to go back in that base and play some TNT down. But I've watched the clips back and I realized that I think I forgot a spawner in here. Uh, so we're going to have to mine that if it's still there. Oh, there's actually two that I missed. I can't believe I missed those guys. Uh, you you probably were yelling at me the whole time that you missed some spawners. And uh, here we are. We're going to go ahead and mine those. But yeah, good thing I watched those clips back because those are two skeleton spawners that I would have missed. Um, so if you are commenting on the video before you actually watch this part of the video that I forgot the spawners, I did remember to get the spawners. I know a whole lot of you guys are going to be yelling at me about that, but I think that's all of them. Let's just triple check because I do not want to leave without taking every single spawner. So that's another two skeleton spawners and those do sell for a lot on the server. Uh, so that'll be really awesome to sell. Okay guys, so I am back. I just cut that clip right there because the server was restarting and next thing you know, I log back on and there is a diamond guy here. This is, this is not good. We have two skeleton spawners that we just mined in our inventory. Uh, so I think we're going to get out of here slash home vault. Uh, let's go back to our home vault. Let's chest these skeleton spawners and we will be back with full diamond armor to kill that guy and to TNT the base. That scared the hell out of me. I was just about to start recording back in the base when I logged back in and that guy was there. That really scared me. I managed to get out uh, as you guys saw, but I think we're going to put these spawners back in the spawner chest over here and we're going to put these two in here. So we have a total of, did these just stack? Did I just duplicate spawners? I'm pretty sure I didn't. What the heck just happened? All right, so they're back to normal now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spawners from that raid. That is a that is a hell of a lot of spawners on the server. Wait, did one just disappear? So we only have seven now. What is happening to the server? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we have seven spawners in here. Uh, so that is a really, really good outcome from that raid. Uh, but the last thing that we need to do is I've actually done my hit Zeus at, at the beginning of the episode, and I chested it in this chest right here. So we're going to put that on real quick. We're going to take these out and we're going to put these on because uh, I do want to go over and kill that diamond guy. So let's take this armor off and put the good stuff on along with the god sword and the god bow. Put that on instead because this one does have flame one on it. 
and we'll put this back in here. Let's actually throw back uh, this. We'll throw back in. Did I not put this on? Let's put that on. We'll throw back some iron armor in here. We'll keep the ender pearls along with the pickaxe and the TNT. Although we could put the pickaxe back just because it's silk touch and I don't want to lose it if I die. I'm not too sure how geared up that guy is. He does have full enchanted diamonds, so I'm guessing he's probably in protection one or protection two. Uh, but I guess we'll see here. Um, let's go ahead and put some. What was I looking for? I was. I knew I was going to do something. What am I doing? I was going to put the silk touch pick back in and take a regular pick out. That's what I was going to do. And we are drowning again. Let's not drown in here and say we did. Uh, so let's see. We got everything we need. We're going to do slash home raid again. And do we actually have potions? We have a fire resist of three minutes in here. Uh, so I think we'll take that. I think I forgot to put the redstone in there, but that will work out perfectly. Uh, let's see if the diamond guy's back here. I kind of hope he is, just so we can get a good PvP clip in. But I guess we'll see here in a second. If the diamond guy is back. Oh, he's back. He sure is back. He's real. He's really back. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, what is he doing? Why isn't he hitting me? All right, we're just going to take him out if he's not going to hit me. This is a base raid right here. Projectile protection, protection, protection. Do not have leggings. Oh, there is his leggings right here. So he was actually not geared up at all. That is some pretty bad armor. I'm not not even gonna lie. That is really bad armor. I don't even think I want that. Uh, but I think we'll put it in our vault just to have more armor on us in case we do need to use this armor. Uh, but the last thing that we're gonna do that we do to every base, we're gonna go ahead and TNT the hell out of this place. I'm kind of wondering if the ender chest will blow up since I disabled the placement and basically uh, kind of the interaction with ender chests of breaking them and stuff. I'm kind of curious to see if that will actually blow up with it. Hopefully that won't like crash the server or something. Well, I guess we'll see here in a second. We're going to go ahead and blow this place sky high right here. I've lit the TNT. We're running out here, and we're going to see what happens to this place. I'm guessing. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. We <laughs> love this place too, and that was the raid for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, remember to hit that like button as it really does help out this series. And I actually forgot, we do need to go back and put the pig spawner and cow spawner in the uh, bottom of the zombie spawner. But I think we'll save that for next episode because I just checked the clips uh, from the last clip I recorded. And this video is around 20 minutes long. Uh, so we're going to save that for next episode and be prepared for some more raids, more PvP, and another action-packed episode uh, for the next episode of this series. Uh, but again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.